Welcome back Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video Welcome back, my name's ODR, you know what he stands for? Own damn research It's the key to success, not what you buy, not what you hold I am not a financial advisor None of this financial advice you'll trust around process When you know what you bought, when you know what you hold Try, relax, sit back And let me rephrase that Try, relax, and enjoy today's video Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button Let's get it cracking on, so the goal like is to hit 150 likes and I want to see everyone in the comments spam hashtag Finra fraud simple as let's get into it hashtag Finra fraud I want to see that spammed all over the comment section below right now so in today's video we're going to be talking about MMTOP a summary of what happened today on Sunday 11th of um, December a day before the actual record date now before I um say anything obviously i want to quickly give a shout out to trading secrets because i'm going to be looking at his post here and short squeeze a short squeeze as well on twitter trading secrets if you don't know always providing us with the best videos on meta materials other stocks as well check out his youtube channel non-financial advice always giving the best possible research out there now um mmtop remember this is my own opinion what do i think is going to happen well sadly i don't think mmtop's hold is going to be removed but that's an option that is an option and the comment the the real question i want to give to you everyone that's watching this video is what is your take if let's say let's say the market is open on the record date 12 let's say it's 12 december right now it's the 12th of december right now meta materials ticker symbol mmtop the whole is removed on otc market we're still on otc market trading on otc market the whole has been removed we can now buy mmtop what, what would be your take on that do you think that'll be a good thing or a bad thing i simply see that as a good thing um, but I really hope the spin-off can, can be delayed on the same time. If the spin-off can get delayed and the whole gets removed, that would be perfect. What do you all want? What, what What's the outcome you all want to see? My best outcome I can see from now is FINRA. They've been exposed. A lawsuit hopefully coming their way. Um, MMTOP being the whole being removed and the spin-off being delayed. I think these three are the best things ever. Um, so yeah, that's that. MMTOP's price, I don't know what it's going to open at, I can't say. If you do want to talk to me about MMTOP and get a Discord link, Discord link in the description below. I am on Instagram, road to 100 followers. But yeah, that's that. I think if the whole it gets removed, the spin-off has to be delayed and then we're going to be seeing some crazy price actions. And also, the shorts are still there. I don't care what anyone says, shorts are still there, they owe us. But let's start off with short squeeze because this uh, legend has decided to talk about us which is a very good thing so exposing fin rough fraud we all know what's going on we need answers so yeah finra basically halted mmtop they're coming at us for no reason so exposing finra mmtop edition this may be bigger than we all thought finra illegally allowed hedge funds and market makers including gts to have mmtop to be traded MMTOP was never meant to be traded as Metamaterials preferred share. This was heavily shorted with hundreds of millions synthetic shares and just like OSTK dividend market markers makers allowed it to trade with the help from Vinra. Bear in mind, bear in mind, I'm saying all of this, yeah. MMTOP wasn't even meant to be in the OTC market. It wasn't even meant to be in the OTC market and sadly it was and with that being done, Vinra decided to halt MMTOP. Like, you see where I'm coming from? None of this was going to happen, but he has, and FINRA have let us down. But yeah, let's carry on. The 6 million shorts filed with FINRA and over 200 million synthetic shares, AST and brokerages are having issues because the 165 million issued shares are full. This proves that there's synthetics and the shorts have to cover and close out their positions. Now, we all know shorts have to close out their positions, and... Don't get confused over the 500 million shares um, or 200 million, whatever you're reading. Don't get confused about that. Stick to the 165 million uh, shares that we are given through MMTOP. Don't worry about any other numbers you see because I know a lot of people are getting confused. I know uh, John Brada made a tweet as well. He confused a lot of people. Listen, ignore all of that. Just focus on the number 165 million for now if you can because I know the other thing is going to be confusing. 
But let's carry on. Now FINRA illegally halted trading of MMTOP days before the record date allowing the short positions to roam freely. Not to mention one of the market makers as mentioned earlier Ali works and is on the board of FINRA. FINRA we need answers we need you to unhold trading this is not over and this is not over for sure. As always I am on tw uh, Twitter posting if you want to come check out my DD and all that. Come follow me, I repost all the accurate information and latest updates on MMTOP. As I said it, new day, same message, share it out, FINRA fraud. Now let's get moving on. So, thanks to Trading Secrets, we have um, more mm, info. Now bear in mind with Trading Secrets 1, it's just all opinions and takes that could possibly happen from going on from here. Now, there are five different things that could happen. Number one, the company discussed a, a, a compromise behind the scenes with the market makers with offers from around $80 to $120 per MMTOP share. That would be crazy, but you never know. You never know. Um, number two, the company delayed the spin out to allow MMTOP to start trading on the OTC again. Now, that's what I said. It's just sad that it has to be OTC. Number three, the spin out is completed with an offer of around $100 per share and press release about a buyer that would be good if we can get that news uh, i'll be so happy like literally i'll be partying right now in las vegas i'll go all the way to las vegas and party if we can get a buyer right now number four a legal challenge by the company against market makers which which should be done in my opinion this ain't even a thingy that you know we should be questioning it has to be done it needs to be done number four needs to be done by meta materials it, it has to be done. like what FINRA done come on number five the ideal scenario from trading secrets trading resumes monday 12 december for two more days shorts close their positions using all sell limit orders up to one thousand dollars per share brokers liquidate for them if they do not close and brokers deal with the millions of synthetic shares so only genuine retail investors of mmtop get the entitlements to next bridge hydrocarbons that's the possible scenarios coming from trading secrets the last few days has mainly been about FINRA getting exposed, the FINRA fraud, and the MMTOP hope. And I shall remind you all again, there is no way in hell FINRA can get away with what they've done. I'll keep you all updated with everything, and I mean everything that unfolds this week. I'll try my best to do another week of daily uploads like I did this week, mainly for the hype of MMTOP as we get closer and closer to the record date which is literally in a few hours because I'm from the UK and the distribution date it was going to be a good week it would have been a good week but you know who let us down FINRA and they've been exposed and I'm happy they've been exposed but what comes next we're yet to find out so yeah that was my video on MMTOP hit that like button if you liked today's video leave a comment FINRA fraud I want to see that all around in the comments see you all in my next video and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. You could ask me on Instagram as well. I am active. See you all later.